Welcome back, Rounds. I'm your host, Justin Rios, back with an exciting entertainment report. Let's dive right in. Have you been to the movies lately? Well, the Morgan Library at CSU is celebrating International Open Access Week this Friday with a free, yes, I said free, screening of the documentary Paywall, The Business of Scholarship on Thursday, October 25th from noon to 1.30 in the afternoon. International Open Access Week runs this week, celebrating the academic and, re and research community's ability to spill the tea and share important information. School and homework are such a drag, but these queens really know how to lighten the load and have a good time. I love that it's on campus. I think it's really unique that this college does something like this. Uh, I transferred here and they didn't have shows where I came from, so I am really excited to be part of this. PRISM hosted the CSU Fall Throwback Drag Show this past weekend at the LSC, serving up some sick dance moves, hilarious jokes, with a special guest performance by Peppermint from RuPaul's Drag Race. The drag show has given us all an opportunity to grow um, in terms of discovering uh, and exploring not only like our gender but our gender performance, right? Like our whole thing right now with the costumes is like taking these jerseys which are traditionally, you know, toxic and masculinity and mixing them with our heels with some femininity uh, and kind of representing that there can be an absolute blend of these things and it represents not only in our apparel uh, but in the choreography too. Where's that cash going? Well, Jessica said it best. We're donating all of the money to the resource center here at CSU. What the universe is providing for, for the students, it's more of like a welcoming gestures saying, hey, we have drag queens here, you know, be yourself, be who you are, and that means a lot to a lot of students. These kings and queens had a lot to live up to performing at the biggest university drag show in Colorado, and they made sure to give the audience a lip sync extravaganza for their lives. The CSU Drag Show was a total drag, in a great way. If you missed the show, you can tune in next semester for the Spring Drag Show. I know I'll be there. The Apocalypse is a current American horror story that frightens conspiracy theorists everywhere. But don't be afraid of the dark. Fraternity Theta Chi took charge with the apocalyptic, apocalyptic theme for their seventh annual haunted house this past weekend. Theta Chi's cryptic haunted house scared visitors' wits with horrifying images of the end times while shaking their cash out of their pockets. For charity, of course. The money for this spooky event goes to the United Services Organization. Hopefully we can stay united before global warming spooks us to a real apocalypse. The Fort Collins Book Festival returned this past weekend with the Big Think, asking heart-hitting questions like, what if and what else? The Book Festival is a free two-day event for all you book-loving fanatics out there. Featured authors included Andy Weir and Kim Kimiko Han at CSU and Old Firehouse Bookstore. With more than 35 authors and 40 sessions, I had to know the status of the next book festival. We kind of, I feel like this year kind of started off playing with like a food idea. So I'd almost kind of like just to see it actually do that and kind of, you know, explore that genre of things, so that's what it is. I feel like it's time to cra crack open Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I'm crossing my fingers for my acceptance letter to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry next semester. While rounds, I'm all out of time. Tune in tomorrow for Humans of CSU, same time, same channel. Take care, have a great evening, and good night. <laughs>